Moving along here on Work and CT tonight, getting on track is an ambitious undertaking in Essex. After the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic last year, a decades old tradition is building steam once again. They are putting the final touches on the Connecticut River Museum's holiday train show, and it takes hundreds of man hours to make that show go. Here's Fox 61's Jim Altman. On the outside in Essex, the scenes are serene. American flyers, that's what I had when I was a kid. But go inside the Connecticut River Museum, and the pace picks up. Steve Cryan's life has been at a crossroads for the past few months. Christmas morning, 1950-something. Uh, it's what he does. Steve's been working on the railroad. Yeah, I just threw it together. It took about, you know, four hours. Yeah, right. He's the artist behind all of this. I've got S gauge, that'd be American Flyer. I've got O gauge, I've got HO gauge, I've got N gauge. Something intricately created for the loco motivated. After getting cut back due to COVID-19 in 2020, the museum's holiday train show is fully back on track. Officially opening November 23rd. It's back. And a lot of these models I built during COVID when I was locked down. So it gave me a lot of time to sit there with my tweezers and paintbrushes and build the likes of, you know, the freighter and, you know, all these different types of boat that are in New England. The display takes up the entire top floor here at the Connecticut River Museum, a 28 year tradition and still running. I've been with this museum for a long, long time since it's in inception pretty much. And uh, yeah, it's great to be back. For me, it's about the attention to detail. You can spend so much time looking at the different billboard signs, all of the different people. I mean, there's so many wonderful details that just are waiting to be discovered. The work continues. A thousand square feet, a dozen trains, and one objective for the holiday season. Hopefully they'll be amazed. You know, and that's the fun part for me is communicating with people and uh, being with people once again instead of lockdown. And that's what I hope this will bring. In Essex, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.